Hi, John uh, Wanoa here, Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, today is Thursday, the 18th of uh, May 2016. I want you to hear this um, pissed off American um, that I'm um, more interested in what he's saying about the um, American Navy police that's uh, trickling its way around the world through. Um, um, the federal state and the Queen and the Pope and their New World Order and ISIS. Um, this man is more or less um, saying it as he sees it and the way I see it as well through the um, Governor General here in New Zealand looking after the Queen's business in um, Britain, London and he's going there as the new ambassador to New Zealand to carry on this fraud operation scam that's with the tax, um, Panama tax um, um, havens that are rife here in New Zealand that we want to uncover and bust open in front of the world online um, that um, um, there are people like him that are exposing um, what is happening to take control over our lands, our resources from the common people of King William IV, the common law courts and the King's Bench Court in the Waitangi Marae in um, New Zealand or in Bay of Islands is where the Governor General is running his fraud business and that's what I'm saying that he's acting Maori for the Queen's um, invented tribe here in this country and controlling America and all the Commonwealth countries, the 53 uh, Commonwealth countries in the world. So uh, let's hear what he says and uh, take a, a leaf out of his book and I'm sure he's right on track. What's going on, on social media man? Pissed off American here. Well, the Facebook Nazis have struck again. They removed my video that uh, I went into depth about Barack Obama, Israeli intelligence, Saudi Arabia, the plan of Islam. Uh, and, and basically, uh, Facebook allowed it for about one day before they ripped it off. So we're going to recap all that shit. Long ago, Israeli intelligence intercepted a meeting between a bunch of Saudi Arabian uh, princes and government officials. And in this meeting, they were talking about spreading Islam and spreading their influence across the globe. During this meeting, one of them stood up and said, Be patient, my friends. We will have a Muslim-planted president in the White House very soon. It wasn't very long after that that Barack Obama became president of the United States. Now, everyone says that he was born in Hawaii. That is true. But it was not Hawaii, United States. He was born in Hawaii, Kenya. Look it up on the map. Hawaii is a village or a city in Kenya. That's where he was born. That's why he had to manipulate his birth certificate. That's why he won't actually come out and say certain things. And that's why you can, come, you can find videos of his mother talking about his homeland, Kenya. That's why you can hear him making uh, mistakes during speeches and, and, and talks about my homeland, Kenya, because he's not a fucking American. Now, the United Nations, they are, they are basically building a global police uh, force. They've been building this for decades. The secretary general position for the United Nations comes available uh, right around the end of uh, Barack Obama's term. He has his eyes set on the United Nations Secretary General position. This is the position that will oversee the United Nations Global Police Force. Let me explain the Global Police Force to you. What they do is they go into countries. These are foreign troops who go into other countries. They basically intertwine with their local police departments and their uh, equivalent of FBI and things like that. And they basically incorporate themselves into the police departments. They retrain police officers on how to deal with civilians, their own people, basically. And uh, they, they restructure the police department, how they enforce laws, how they enforce civil uh, up, uh, unrest and all this other stuff. Now, Barack Obama has set up the Strong Cities Network. This is the global police force being placed in over 20 cities across the planet. These are major metropolitan cities that have freedom. Um, and, and basically constitutional rights. Places like uh, London, Paris, places like uh, Minneapolis, Minneapolis uh, United States, Chicago, Boston, um, uh, New York, 
These are all places that the Strong Cities Network is setting up their little uh, network of UN global police forces. These are foreign troops coming into our country, working with our police departments, the people who deal with us on a daily basis. They're restructuring how they do things and basically how they uh, approach and deal with uh, civilians, you and me. Now, the Strong Cities Network, they're implementing these UN troops already. There is UN troops in this country, in America, right now, working with our police and our law enforcement. That's why you're seeing all these videos of UN trucks uh, piled on trains being taken in, uh, across the country. This is why you're seeing United Nations flags and all these blue uniforms being shipped into America. Now, when Barack Obama leaves office, he will have set into play enough executive orders to cause a state of emergency military uh, uh, martial law. Now, once he goes to the UN police force, he's created enough diversity with allowing this racist Black Lives Matter movement, with allowing the, the Black Panthers, allowing all the refugees to come in here, allowing all these mosques to set up these little terrorist camps, these guerrilla uh, training warfare camps uh, that these Muslims have set up all over the country. I did a video on it naming some of the cities here in the country. Uh, by allowing all this to happen, he has created this unrest. He has basically separated everybody in this country, Democrats against Republicans, blacks against whites, immigrants against United States, um, transgenders against straight people, gays against fucking straight people. This is what he's done. He wants to create a civil unrest so that a state of emergency can be declared. And all the executive orders that he's put into place allows him to take over agriculture, transportation, energy, walk into your home and take your shit. During times of war or peace, all they have to do is declare a state of emergency. And guess what a state of emergency is? It's anything. It's a natural disaster. It's a riot in a, in a certain city. Um, any of these things can cause a state of emergency. And guess who his plan is to have as president when this time comes? Hillary Clinton. You want to know why? Because Hillary Clinton has been funded by Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, Syria, Libya. These are all the Arab terrorist countries that have fueled her Clinton Foundation and fueled her, her rich lifestyle. And these are the people she owes favors to. These are the people that she gave all the arms to while she was Secretary of State because they donated to her in order to have all of these arms deals done with them. Because they wouldn't have got it any other way. Now, when Hillary Clinton becomes president, Barack Obama will be over Secretary General of the United Nations. Remember, it was started off as the United Arab Nations, but everyone knows that the Arab, Sharia law, Muslim countries are all barbaric animals that practice 5th century ways. They're barbaric parasites. We know it. They know it. So they changed their name to United Nations so it would be more accepting in, in, on the planet to other countries. Now, once Hillary becomes president through election fraud, Barack Obama will make a deal with Hillary Clinton, placing UN troops all over our country. She will declare a state of emergency. She will call upon the Secretary General of the United Nations a Global Police Force, Barack Obama, to bring his troops into our country in order to get it under control because of civil unrest due to the elections, due to the economic crisis, and due to all the racism and diversity that has been created by the Obama administration and the Clinton campaign. Now, once all this happens... They will kick in your doors. They will take your stuff. They will take your children, relocate them into government schools to be trained as the government sees them. See, the government has been trying to take over for a long time. People didn't realize it. People have been screaming the NSA was spying on its own people. Everyone said that's fucking crazy. You're conspiracy theorists nuts. And it turns out it was fucking true. 20 of the, of the largest, 20 out of the, uh, 20 out of 25 of the most popular conspiracy theories have been proven to have been right. They weren't conspiracy theories. They were proven right. The only ones that haven't been proven right yet are the aliens and things like that. But all the rest of the conspiracies that have gone on in this country over the last 20, 30, 40 years have all been proven true. So all the tinfoil hat wearing goofballs turned out to be right. And now you need to wake up, people. You need to look around and see what's going on. They are trying to change the way this planet is ran. Right now, the United States is the global police force. We keep bad people in their own country, and we make sure the rest of the countries in the world are doing good to a certain extent of what we can do. They want us off.
the global police force, so they can set up the United Nations global police force and implement Sharia law and Islamic barbaric ways into every country across this planet. This is the end goal, to remove Christ, to remove Catholic, to remove Baptist, to remove every religion off this planet, implement Islam, and then the great purge starts. Every infidel, everyone who doesn't bow down to the false prophet Muhammad, to the fake God Allah, and to that barbaric scripture called the Quran. If you don't bow down to it, they will eradicate you. This is a plan they have been trying to do for 1400 years. Islam has not stopped. They have not changed. They still practice the same 5th century barbaric ways that they practice now. It has never changed, and it never will. And you people need to wake up. United Nations Global Police Force, Strong Cities Network, look this shit up, buy ammunition, buy guns, round up with your community, practice and, and, and prep and drill and be ready. Because when the shit hits the fan, you damn well better be able to shoot somebody in the fucking head to protect your family. You damn well better be able to, uh, to be ready to fight for this fucking country or you will end up an Islamic slave or you'll be considered an infidel and put to death. These are things that are happening. This is not conspiracy theory. This is not, oh, look, this could be interpreted this way. Look around. It is fucking happening, and it needs to fucking end. We need to stop it. American patriots need to rise the fuck up and put an end to all this bullshit. Well, there we go. <clears throat> he said it right from the horse's mouth. That's what I'm saying, um, uh, you Americans and... and uh, Gene over there, <clears throat> this man's got it right, and um, no bones about it, I'm saying that that's what's going to happen in New Zealand, Australia, and Canada, and the Commonwealth countries as well, and it's got to stop right here where the Queen has placed her business on our land, and that's what I'm sending a message clearly to the Governor General here, Jerry Matiparai, we've got you in a box to put you up for grand treason with John Key and the Queen for breaking our contracts with King William IV. And he's the one that put these acts together of the martial law. You're going to turn the martial law on yourselves from Waitangi Marae, the King's Bench Court, in our court hearing for Cook Street and for the Waitangi Treaty Grounds and Ngāpui, waiting for this um, to eventuate into law of their law. When two laws clash, the um, British law and the um, laws of New Zealand clash with native New Zealand law, the New Zealand native law of the Hapu and Maui prevails. That's what I'm saying here um, about having their business fraud and the TPPA and the... Um, uh, tax havens, uh, Panama tax havens running rife here in this country on our land. <clears throat> We're putting this up on a court case online and this video can go in there as well as being some proof from America that they're being duped the same way with Obama that's uh, Satan and his um, um, following of putting people against people and that's the same here, is putting people against people and our people lying in the street sleeping while these monsters are living high on the resources and our land uh, for their benefit and their financial interests must return back to the people of the world. Then Moai, um, the gentle giant um, memorial stone and King William IV. Britain put back together in its place with our flag, the Confederation flag, 1834 Constitution. That's the only constitution in Britain that'll save Britain from the Queen pulling at the bits. She's wrecked the um, Westminster Parliament with the paedophiles and all the rest of the sinful things that are going on with the Pope. You can see online the Pope has is, is gone berserk. It's not a church, really. It's not what a church is supposed to be, you're bringing people together. They're trying to run a government, um, a new world order, to 
forced upon people in the world. God didn't say to force people to do anything or, or say you own the water in the sky. Uh, it was put there for everyone to use and no, no person has a right to overrule another person on his own land. So the corporations are out of order, I'm saying that, and the common law people have to stand up like this man and defend their country from alien people like Obama. He's alien and string them up. We want to string up all these crooked people like John Key here in New Zealand, you know, string them up in court, and their courts were going to go and challenge the judges in their jurisdiction and constitution, seals, then who they swear the oath of office to. They can't do this because they to us because they got elected to go in there, and the judges are being controlled by Parliament, then John Key. So John Key, this is a message to you from this guy and me and our chiefs up at Waitangi, and our uh, main chiefs, and the Taumata and, and um, elders, and the uh, Rangatira, um, we are sending you a clear message. Back off our land, otherwise go. That's all I have to say tonight, uh, today, on uh, Thursday, 18th of May 2016, John Wanaa, Auckland, New Zealand. Bye for now.